Well, next we head along to the Port Leash Education Centre for a very exciting announcement about Music Generation Leash. Leash, where Music Generation Leash are showcasing their refurbished premises and their achievements to Minister Jan O'Sullivan and other invited guests. Let's go along and join them. And Minister, uh, welcome to Port Leash. And uh, what are you doing here today? I'm here for the launch of Leash Music Generation and just had a great afternoon listening to some fantastic young musicians from County Leash. Um, it's basically the Music Generation is a programme that was started by the very famous band U2 mm -hmm. uh, along with the Ireland Fund and uh, my department, the Department of Education and Skills has fully supported it and uh, has given a commitment to funding it into the future. So um, it's very much a partnership approach both at national level and at local level. So here in County Leash there's a partnership approach again where we have uh, the uh, ETB, which is the Education Training Board, the old Vocational Education Committees, yes. uh, along with the County Council and uh, along with other local partners. And uh, they basically set up Music Generation and Leash. And it's to offer, offer young people the chance to engage with music and music across the board from classical to jazz to traditional to rock and pop. So it's all forms of music. And uh, it's, a great, it's a great proposal and a great, uh, a great idea and that has now come to fruition here in Lee. I think every young child in the country should have the opportunity to be exposed to music because we all, I think everybody has a natural instinct for music uh, from a young age. Uh, some children maybe grow up in a musical family, some children get the opportunity to learn an instrument, uh, lots of children are involved in school choirs, etc. But I believe every young child should have the opportunity to be exposed to music. Indeed they should. And uh, you, you did mention that in the, in the outset, the U2 and the Ireland Fund were the, uh, helped very, very much, but quite a lot of money. And now the department is kind of rolling in as well. Yeah, well, the idea with the Ireland Fund really is to be a seed funder of things so that they get it started. They work with others, in this case, you too, uh, get things started, and then the state in some way steps in and takes over or at least helps and, and, and works in partnership. So that's essentially what we've done. We've come in now with, with state funding and also then with the, the local organisations, the local partnerships in various parts of the country. The variety of it as well. So well done, lads, because uh, we got the traditional we also got the jazz and I know that there's rock and pop and a whole variety of genres of music here. started in 2012 um, and at the moment we now have 1,500 children participating in our programs which is just really phenomenal um, and to help with that we have a fantastic instrument bank I think you might have seen some of the instruments here today so with the help of Leash Partnership Company over 75,000 euro has been invested in instruments for the children who participate in our programs to use so it's really fantastic so I guess things are just developing all the time and it's our aim to just get as many children and young people involved in, in music as we can in whatever way we can and um, the, the fact that the Department of Education are now going to provide national funding for the next five years is just another part of the success story really of Music Generation Leash. Indeed it is and you've got the co-production co as it were between the local authorities and the department. Now how important was it to have the Minister down here today to see the work you were doing? Well I think it's, it's, it's hugely important because it's the recognition of what's happening and also the investment at government level in performance music education in Ireland and that's really what we want to see and we need to have uh, we need to know that we're here long term we can't just start giving children music lessons and then stop so the fact that we're going to be here long term is hugely significant and that the department have recognized that so we're, we're thrilled I think to have a, an Irish dancer here in the middle of it all is not just so much part of our culture and heritage as well so it's really wonderful and they're just such fantastic musicians you know they deserve to be on 
the big stage. Indeed they do. Rose, it's great talking to you, Norman. Thanks, Larry, thank you.